Continuing, we can then look at the output equalizer. This can be attained through the tab at the bottom of the screen or through the scheme hitting crossover and output EQ. Once pressed, I'm looking at channel 1. Channel 2 is again in red. Let's go to channel 1. This, there are 15 fixed filters here. I can insert a filter. These are standard IR filters, as you can see from the bends there. Uh, the types of filters we have are shelving filters, which can be adjusted in a variety of options, uh, frequency. Uh, we have a high shelving filter as well. We have a low pass filter. And uh, we can change the cue, etc. here. Um, we also have a high pass filter, what we call a band pass filter, which is very unique. Um, it could be used for a multitude of applications. And a band stop filter, which is a Q of 30, uh, which is capable. So 15 different filters can be added to this screen. So let's put in a simple, uh, let's say, and again, we can as well put them in and out by simply clicking the filters button underneath. To get a crossover, we can press on this box or the far box and enable the crossover, bring it to the desired frequency. I will go to the lower end of the band and pull that out. And in the crossovers, we have choices of a bezel, Linkwitz Riley, an FIR, or a hybrid FIR. We can change the slope accordingly here. We can change the frequency here or through the bar. I can look at the other one as well and change the slope as that as well. We can also look at the phase on how all these filters are getting impacted with phase. So if I change the slope, uh, you can see the actual phase changing. So we also have one more filter. This is called an all pass filter, which is a phase filter that is capable of variable frequency and Q, uh, enabling a lot of control on the output side. Um, a very unique filter. But, uh, and again, we can take a look at the crossover that might be on channel two by inserting one, for instance, or actually let's insert that one and put it way up there and still see it on channel one as a rollover. We can get rid of the phase here. Selective phase is just going to show you a single filter and the gain is obviously going to show you your filters. So lots of visibility options. Uh, we can change the magnitude level as well from a minus 42.6 to a plus 24 minus 24. Uh, and lots of different options on this screen. Let's get rid of the magnitude of channel two and clear out these filters for a second and flatten the crossovers. We have the ability as well to add delay on the output section. Only 100 milliseconds per output, but again, enough to align speaker to transducer, transducer to transducer. We also have the ability, we use text files for quite a lot of things, which you'll see in the program. Uh, if I hit add, in every one of our programs, we have a sample database. And if I go to measured curves examples, you can see these are text documents. And if I open up this mid frequency, I could raise it up over the screen and then insert filters to match that curve. I can change the color of that curve. I can add several curves and I can also look at the phase. So if I was tuning a speaker, I could do a smart, do a systune, do a sim, save the results of a swapped command to a text file and pull that up both in amplitude and in phase and lay it over this screen. Additionally, you can remove it by highlighting and hitting remove. 
I can reverse polarity and I can mute and again change level. 